testimony today. I praise God for this uh, time. Well, I've never done this before <laughs> in front of so many people, so bear with me. I, did, I see my life as two, two sides. One is my life before I knew Jesus Christ, and the other part of my life is the life after I knew Jesus Christ. Um, I was born and brought up in a Christian family. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, my parents were Christians. Uh, I knew there is God. I knew He's good, He's loving. But I never had a relationship with Him. Well, um, when, I was, when I was 16 years old, I met some Christian friends. My Christian friends told me that Christian is not being just Christian. There's more to it. I didn't understand what do you mean. Um, they said, see, Jesus died for you on the cross. I said, I know that he died for me on the cross. I know it from, the, from my childhood. Uh, well, after they told me more, um, I realized there's more to Jesus just dying on the cross. I've learned that Jesus died on the cross for everybody. Yes, I, I know. But um, I realized that Jesus died for me. Why he died for me. The things when they were saying, I was imagining this great God who made the universe. When I think of the universe, that is so big. And earth is so big. And then there are rivers, there are oceans and lands. And then there's countries and there's so many people. And then there I am, a small speck. When I think... I'm just a small speck. Then I realized, that's true, God is so big, that made so many big things, and I'm just a small, tiny big. Why should he care about me when I thought of it? That's when I understood he loved me so much. That's um, that when I was 17, I, I believed, I said, Lord, yes, I know I'm a sinner. I understood all the things that they were saying. And then I received the Lord into my heart. Uh, when I was 20, I, I took baptism. See, after, before I used to read the Bible, read, read it, just read it. But after I realized how much he loved me when I read the Bible, the words, the words were different. They spoke to me, they strengthened me, they encouraged me, they were molding me. Before I knew Christ, Good Friday was normal. I used to go to church fast with my parents and that's it. But the meaning for Good Friday became so real after knowing the Lord personally. My Good Friday is every day. My Lord, I remember every day, my Lord died for me. For me, because of me, he died. I, when I think the King of Kings, King of Kings became poor for me, that is too much for me. I cannot imagine somebody loving me a sinner. I praise God. I love, I praise God. So, God is not just a, uh, my imagination. I want to tell you that. It is not just imagination. My God is real. My God is real. He's there. Just like how my husband is real. He's there. My children are there. They're true. They're real. I can touch them, feel them. I know them. My God is like that. He is real. From the time I I trusted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior, He's been faithful. He's been there every moment of my life. Uh, there are so many times um, when I was going down, but it was the Lord who pulled me up again. I praise God. Um, I realized that God uh, is like my dad, where how I can run, when I did, how I can run to my dad and hug him. Just like that, I can run to my God now, and he's there. I praise God for it. Um, there are some times that I want to share. Is um, My parents, my, my siblings, my brother and my sister are Christians, but where they were not born again Christians. So I've been praying for them for many days. Um, then, uh, there's so many days that they were not changing. I said, God, you're not listening. What is he, they're not changing. They're not t getting the real meaning of being knowing Christ. 
I thought God was not really hearing my prayers. That was wrong. I, I realized after a few years, my mom is, uh, my dad and my mom's got saved. My sister is baptized. And God is working in my brother's life. I've been praying, Lord, send some people, your children, to them. They're full of people around them who, are, who don't know God. And God is being faithful. And now uh, I hear uh, Paul Sazakar, uncle, many of us, you know, who's doing one-on-one, -on -one, going to their house, having Bible study, which is such a great encouragement that God is, see, again, he proved, he proves every day, he proves every hour that he's real. And I praise God for it. Um, I, I shared this uh, with some of you. I want to share this again. It's something really uh, is great in my heart. Uh, I have two boys and then I got, uh, I got pregnant for the third time and everybody I knew started praying that you're going to have a girl. Um, so they prayed and then when I came to know it's a boy again, I said, Lord, you, you're not, you said, Call unto me and I'll answer you. You listen. How come they were all, everybody who knew me said, oh, you're going to have a girl baby. We are praying. That prayers were really, it's a, they're earnestly praying. Then why didn't you hear? The doubts come in our minds, in my mind too. Lord, you're not listening. But he was. I was being praying to the Lord at his feet. Lord, raise up your men who will preach your gospel boldly. Boldly. Raise up men down, Lord. And that early in the morning at, uh, at 3 o'clock, I was asking God, how come, Lord, you didn't hear? How come it's, a, it's not a girl's a boy? Then God said, I have been hearing to your prayers, all your prayers. He said, you said, raise up men who will preach your gospel boldly. Now I'm raising a man child in your womb and you're asking me why. I couldn't say anything more. My God is so real. He knows what's best for me, for his children. Uh, God is so good. Then, there are so, if I keep telling uh, the whole day, you will be gone. So there are so many things that God's been faithful in my life. I've experienced it, I, I tasted it, I know he is there. If, if, you, if you're a Christian, brothers and sisters, if you're Christians, if you're Hindus, Muslim, it doesn't matter. The only one thing matters is do you know Jesus Christ as your personal savior? I want you to know there are so many precious promises in the Bible. He said that I uh, cling on to a lot of times. I am his and he is mine. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. That is so good for me. And he says, no man is able to pluck me out of pluck you out of my hand, the Lord says. Such a beautiful promise. So I, if you don't know, I want I you to know him personally today and to make him your Lord and Savior, as I did and I'm so happy I did. Thank you.